In Illustrator, draw each of the bread parts on its own layer. Create five emotions for the eyebrows. Use a pressure sensitive brush to create your eyebrows with a simple brush stroke. Then simply outline the stroke to create the vector shape for your animation. Open the file in After Effects as Composition Retain Layer Size. Cut the eyebrow layers to one frame and then sequence the layers with Keyframe Assistant. Right click in the first layer and create a shape layer from your vector layer. Keyframe the path property, move one frame forward and click Origin in Joysticks. Create all five brow shapes on your first five keyframes by moving the tangent points around. Select several points at once and double click to create a bounding box that can be rotated and moved easily. You can add more points if needed for more complicated shapes. It will automatically add those into previous keyframes. Joystick needs the same amount of points in all keyframes. Delete the four remaining eyebrow layers and create a null layer to parent all the eye parts with. Before you rig the whole character, convert all the vector shapes that you might animate later into shape layers. Prepare the bread's ears and top head for some animation later. Their shape is actually just a very fat line and this keeps the ears nice and round and is very quick to animate. Now start parenting the body parts. Ears to body, all the eye layers to the eye null and then the eye null layer to the body. Duplicate all eye layers and flip them over. Then label your layers correctly. Oh dear, I should have converted those eyes into shape layers earlier. Now extend both eyebrow layers to the entire composition and then select one eyebrow layer and click the new joystick button. Then name, scale and position your controller as you like. Repeat the same for the other eye and add text layers to name your controllers on screen. Make them guide layers. Keyframe the position in your brow control layer and move the slider around on screen. Keyframe your required position. Using shape layers and the pen tool, draw the upper and lower lids roughly around one eye. Then copy the layer and position them around the other eye. Then parent the lid layers to the eye nuts.
Use the set matte effect on all eyelid layers. Choose your left and right eye white layer as your source layer. Set matte works like a track matte, except you don't need to duplicate the track matte if you want it visible. With the lid layer selected, press U, U on your keypad to bring up the properties and keyframe the path properties of your shapes. Then tweak the lid shapes as you like. 